Property managers, I'm Matt Easton and this is our Monday morning meeting. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can earn and secure full trust with any renter and in doing so, increase your effectiveness to get the lease. Unfortunately, because of a handful of unethical property managers and leasing agents, many of your prospects have had bad apartment experiences in the past and may not believe everything that you're telling them. These past bad experiences places the renter on high alert and makes it very difficult for you to build the trusted rapport needed with them in order to get them to sign a lease with you. And if you work for a smaller portfolio, trust could be a major reason why you're losing leases to the larger REITs. It's not that they're offering a better apartment at a lower price, it's that they don't know your name. With the prospect not knowing your name and having a background on your portfolio, it makes it just that much harder for you to establish trust with them. Now, if you work for a Gray Star, a Lincoln, or Pinnacle, you're not out of the woods yet. Yes, they may know your brand and you've got a huge marketing department behind you, but they don't know you personally. You still have to build that individual trust and rapport with that prospect in order for them to feel very, very comfortable about signing the lease with you. All right, so I'm gonna help you build that trust so that you can be a killer closer and lethal leaser. If the renter doesn't trust you, the information you give them is gonna be minimized and it's gonna be challenged. And the offer on the unit that you make to them is for sure going to be shopped at other properties in your market. When a renter doesn't trust the leasing agent, they always add time to the decision cycle. So if you're hearing things like, you know, I need to think about it, I'm just not ready to sign the lease right now, let me get back to you, chances are there's something going on in the trust and you haven't built the proper trust and rapport with them. Remember, we're not selling Frisbees and we're not selling Fritos here, people. The opportunity cost of them not signing a lease with you is homelessness. It's not a bag of chips and it's not a toy you throw around in the park. This is a roof over your head. So when they're telling you, I need to think about it, they clearly are not trusting something that you're telling them because the last thing they want to do is delay this decision even further and end up living in a van down by the river because they didn't secure an apartment on time. When you become aware of what's going on in your renter's mind and how to deal with those situations and how to earn their trust, You've now entered the arena of the extreme professional and you are well on your way to greatness in property management. This is what sets the rookies and the amateurs and the fly-by-nighters and the failures away from the elite leasing professionals. So let's get you some actionable ways that you can build trust with your prospects. Are you in? I'm in. Let's do it. Okay, so here's some ultra effective tips that I've built over the years on how you can build trust with your prospects. Number one, you must assume all responsibility for closing the lease. It is no longer acceptable for you personally and your team to say things like, man, that guy was crazy. He just didn't get it. I can't believe he didn't sign the lease. That was the perfect offer. If they don't sign the lease, it's your fault. And if they don't trust you, it's your fault. Number two, you need to be an expert. Far too many renters report that they didn't sign the lease because the property manager or leasing agent didn't know their stuff. As a professional in multifamily, you need to learn and understand your prospects' goals and interests. You've got to know your marketplace inside and out. You've got to know your property inside and out. You've got to know your competition inside and out. And, and here's one where a lot of people leave off, you've got to know the leasing process inside and out. So no matter where they're at in the process, whether it's the first phone call or the final walkthrough, no matter what questions they have for you, you are a wealth of trusted information and you have the answers for them. Number three, you need to understand the why behind a renter telling you they're not gonna sign the lease with you today. Now, if you need some help with this, 
Go back and look at some of my dealing with objections videos. If you've attended a boot camp or a live event, we cover this digging in to the real reason why they're not signing a lease with you. But when they tell you, hey, I need to think about it, hey, I need some more time, there's a big why behind that and it's your job to figure out what it is and understand why that is. Number four, credibility equals increased leases. This is where you need to role play with your fellow property managers, with your staff. Get in practice of delivering information in a clear, concise manner so that your prospects are like, wow, this guy is really credible. This gal knows her stuff. This is who I wanna do business with. Credibility equals increased leases. Get credible, people. Number five, always assume that the renter doesn't trust you and don't take it personally. Hey, this isn't friendships, this isn't you know grade school. Assume that they don't trust you. And you know what? That's okay, I'm not gonna take it personally. It's my job as a professional, if I need to speak slower, if I need to give them more information, if I need to ask them, hey, is all this sinking in? Is there anything that doesn't sit right with you? Be the one that's going to bring all that stuff into the open and shine a light on it. And hey, if they don't trust you, don't take it personally. Moving is a very, very scary event for people. They're inherently going to be skeptical. They are inherently not going to believe everything that you say. By bringing it out into the open and taking responsibility for it, you're gonna help them move through the process a lot easier and you're gonna sign a lot more leases. Number six, people believe what they see and not what they hear. This is especially important to you seasoned veterans. I know you're out there watching this that have maybe gotten a little bit lazy. You know everything. You are totally credible, but you just zip through it and you're like, boom, there's the competition. Boom, here's our two bedroom. Here's this, here's that. Oh, you, you, you work at uh, Dell. We're exactly 4.6 miles from Dell. You're not writing things down. You're not presenting it in a visual manner to them. Hey, they're gonna rattle it off as, ah, this guy's just throwing stuff at me and it's not very believable. You need to not only present it to them by talking to them, but you also have to, as much as you can, show them. If you've got great granite countertops, bang on the granite countertop, say, wow, look at how solid this is. Look at these great doors. Look at these windows. Open and close the windows. People believe what they see and not necessarily what you tell them. Show them don't tell them. Number seven, always have property and unit information printed out and in writing and quickly accessible. If you know me, I always carry around, I got one right here. I always carry around my sword and my shield, my legal pad. Always have some printouts in there of property information. You can just quickly stack it. You got a tour coming up. You've got that there. Oh, by the way, you know, we were talking about our A7 floor plan. It's two bedroom, it's exactly 700 square feet. You can see a map of it here. Always have that printed out and readily available. Your credibility is gonna go through the roof. It's so much better than just standing there and going, uh, yeah, the two bedroom, I think it's around 800 square feet. It's 796 square feet. You can see it right here, boom. Have that ready and hand it to them. Number eight, if you know me, we talk a lot about positive reviews. If you've attended a boot camp or a live event, there's a whole section on getting your property positive reviews. Now it's time to go the extra mile to get the trust. I want you to print out all those great positive reviews that I've shown you how to get, put them in a brag book. You're probably saying to yourself, oh, is, is he going too far? Is that too cheesy? No, it is not too cheesy. Print out positive reviews. Oh man, I'm a little bit nervous about you know moving to this area. I've never lived here before. I grew up in Des Moines. Kim, I understand how you feel. Moving is scary. A lot of our residents have moved from really rural areas like Des Moines. What they found is they really love it here. Let me show you some positive reviews that renters have written about the community here. And you can actually take a few of these with you. Have a brag book handy, have some extra copies printed out in a pocket in the folder, hand them out like they're free candy. <laughs> they're the free candy that's gonna get you more leases. Number nine, always make eye contact with your prospects, smile, and whenever possible, greet them by name. Hey, I'm as bad or worse than all of you with names. I'm horrible with names, but it's okay for you to say, remind me again what your name is, write it down, 
Sword and Shield people have it written down at the top. I'm meeting with Jennifer Salisbury. Hey Jennifer, it's great to, great to finally meet you in person. If you forget her name during the tour, you've got it right there on your legal pad. You know what Jennifer, these windows open and close. I'm showing, I'm not telling. So always smile and greet them by name and make eye contact with them. If you're looking down at your feet or you're looking around, they're not gonna trust you. It's human nature. We trust the people that have the confidence to look us in the eye. Number 10, oh, I love this one. This is a super ninja trick that none of the other communities, I guarantee you, none of the other communities are doing this and you are gonna build so much trust if you do this. Not only are you smiling and making eye contact and using their name, oh, Jennifer, it's so great to see you. Jennifer, look at these windows, but, you're smiling and making eye contact with everybody else that you see around the property. Now, if you can get your ninjas, your fellow squad, to get on board with this, whenever you see, hey Joe, how's it going? Oh, that's Joe in our maintenance department. Joe, great to see you. Joe's making eye contact and smiling. Joe, this is Jennifer. The more you can engage other people, that shows that you're a credible and trustworthy person and take it to the next level and introduce them as well. So everybody's smiling, everybody's making eye contact. This is a trustworthy, friendly environment at this property. Ugh! Take it to the next level. Greet everybody, smile at everybody. Don't just be locked in with that prospect. If you see somebody in the hallway, hey, how's it going? Great to see you. Everybody you see, you're temporarily locking in with them. Number 11, we covered this a million times, people. Sword shield. Always carry a legal pad and pen handy with you. It's gonna help you remember names. It's gonna increase your credibility. You're gonna be able to show and not tell. You know, it's got a hallway the hallway's here, and then when you go by the pool, you can see the pool area is really big. I'm constantly showing and not telling. Carry your legal pad with you. If I catch you on property without your legal pad, we're gonna have words. Number 12, present everything in writing. We hit on this a little bit, but present it in writing. Even if it's on that legal pad, if you t if they hey, what's the square footage of this uh, of this two bedroom? It's 1,285 feet. You can see it here on the spec sheet. I'm presenting that in writing, and right in front of them, write it down on the legal pad and put a little square around it. 1,285 feet. You are square feet. You are going to be building that credibility. The more times that you can. Tell them, show them, and write it down. That's three times you've built the trust that you're giving them accurate information. Number 13, this goes back to killer number 10, but it's also taking it one step further. Make sure and set a policy, and you guys practice this, formally introduce every prospect that you have to your team. And I, this is going behind, we're going beyond, we're just walking by in the hallway. Oh, there's Mike in the maintenance. Hey, Mike. This is actually part of your tour needs to be, hey, if we've got a second, I wanna introduce you to Mike. He's our chief of maintenance here. I wanna introduce you to Tammy. She also works in the leasing office. Tammy, this is Jennifer. Jennifer's looking at living here. Tammy says, oh, Jennifer, it's great to meet you. I am so excited to have you as part of our community. Make that part of your tours. Introduce them to the rest of your staff. If you tell somebody something, they may or may not trust you. If the whole group is on board, even Mike in maintenance and Tammy in the leasing office, everybody's formally met this person, the amount of trust and credibility goes way, way up, people. Number 14, always use hard data rather than general concepts. What do you mean by that, Matt? Here's what I mean by that. We are living in an age of accessible, hard, accurate data. Use it to your advantage. Just whip out your phone, you've got it. If they say, hey, I work at Johnson & Mulberry, go to your phone, figure out the exact distance. You know what, we are 4.6 miles from Johnson & Mulberry. By car, it's nine minutes. Uh, if you bike it, it's 23 minutes. Google Maps is gonna tell you all this. Give them hard data. Don't tell them there's three elementary schools in the area. Give them the names of the elementary schools. Give them the addresses. Present hard data and you are gonna be more trustworthy and more credible than somebody that just shares uh, general concepts. You know what, there's three elementary schools by here. You know, I think we're pretty close to Johnson and Mulberry. Boom, be the guy that gives them the exact precise data. Number 15, renters rely on facts to make decisions. Get in their head. 
Give them the facts that they need. Summarize everything in facts. We're 4.6 miles from your work. You told me that you need to be under 2,000 a month. This particular unit is $1,885 per month. Show them the actual hard facts about everything that they're looking at and you will have so much more trust and credibility and it makes it easier for them to make the decision with you. Number 16, honor your commitments. Woody Allen once said that 80% of life is just showing up. Well, you need to show up and you need to honor your commitments. If you tell a prospect, hey, we're gonna tour the unit at one o'clock, you need to be ready to go at 1250. You need to show up on time, every time. Nothing is going to totally derail your trust and credibility than if you show up late if you do not deliver on what you promised them, if you do not give them the follow-up that, that you told them you were gonna give them. Kim, hey, I'm not sure the schools that we have in the area, but let me look that up. I will have that to you within one hour of you leasing, uh, leaving the leasing office. Then, within one hour, you send her a follow-up message. Kim, as promised, here is the information on the elementary schools in our district, and you get that to her on time. Show up to every appointment early, be on time and follow up, follow up, follow up. There you go. Those are 16 different ways that you can build trust with your prospects and get them to love you and lease with you and trust you. Hey, and as always, until next time, I'm Matt Easton, your friend in leasing and life. You need anything at all, call my office, 888-683-5885. Until then, be great. You know what's coming and get those leases. Let's talk about the most effective way for you to get leases at your community. Every renter searches Google for an apartment. At Multifamily Traffic, we make it so they find your property first, call your leasing office, schedule a tour, and sign a lease. We're a certified Google partner and the authority when it comes to ranking apartment websites at the top of Google results. If you need more hot, qualified, local people calling your leasing office, give Multifamily Traffic a call. We're at 888-683-5885. All of our services are month to month and we get you leases.